Hello listeners, this video discusses 100 Years of Solitude written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Marquez was born in the year 1927 and died in the year 2014. He was a Colombian novelist. He is a short story writer, screenwriter and a journalist. He was considered one of the most significant authors of the 20th century particularly in Spanish language. He was awarded prestigious awards. Those are Newstart International Prize for Literature. And also in the year 1982, he received Nobel Prize in Literature. He started his career as a journalist and then he started to write non-fiction works and then began to write short stories. His best novels are 100 Years of Solitude, published in the year 1967, Chronicle of Death Foretold, 1981, and Love in the Time of Cholera, 1985, The Autumn of the Patriarch, 1975. He has also written many other novels, novellas, short stories, non-fiction, and also screen written for villains. His works are also adapted into villains, let us see an overview of the novel, 100 Years of Solitude. The novel is published in the year 1967 and it tells the story of a multi-generational family. The family of Budia, whose patriarch, Jose Arcadio Budia, he has founded a fictional town named Macando. The family of Budia has no connection with the outside world except a group of gypsies who occasionally visit the town Makado. Those gypsies bring some peddling technologies like eyes and telescopes to this town. The patriarch of the family, Jose Arcadio Budia, he remains as a leader to this solitary town. He alienates himself from other men in his obsessive investigation into mysterious matters in the town. This novel is considered one of the supreme achievements in world literature. The novel is influenced by modernism and the Cuban Vanguardia literary movement. Vanguardia is a Cuban art which is a diverse cultural blend of African, South America, Europe, North American elements. Cuban art reflects the diverse demographic ideas and the Cuban artists embrace the European modernism. This movement was actively started in 20th century. The novel uses magical realism and this novel is considered as a magnum opus of Marquez and it is widely acclaimed and recognized as one of the most significant works in Hispanic literary canon and in world literature. Hispanic literary canon meaning Spanish language literature. The novel was first written in Spanish language and then it is translated to English. Let us see the characters involved in this novel. Jose Arcadio Buendia, he is a patriarch of the Buendia family and also the founder of the city called Macando. He goes against his family wishes and marries his third cousin named Ursula Igarian. For many centuries, their family is being threatened for intermarry within the family. But as Buendia married Igarian, this pair is warned before their marriage that their child will be born with the tail of a pig. And as they went against the family of getting married to one of the family members, the couple, they set out to discover a new city where they can live without shame and mistakes. They also establish a town, Macado, and they beget three children named Colonel Orlanio Buendia, Jose Arcadio and Amaranta. The couple also parent a child named Rebecca who is an orphan. Buendia is obsessed with sciences when a gypsy introduced him. The gypsy's name is Melquatis. As days pass, 
he becomes a solitary man he overcomes with curiosity about technology and in frustration he started to destroy his home and also his family members later the family members think that he has lost his mind and they together tie him to a tree in the center of the town where he almost spends his last days ursula igarin she is a matriarch of the buendia family wife of jose arcadio buenda and the mother to three children she is a hard worker and decides to develop her business by making candy animals throughout her life she fears for intermarrying she thinks that it may produce a child with a tail of a pig and she passes this idea to her generations she lives for almost 120 years pillar ternera an old fortune teller in the town melquades a gypsy who comes to the town macando and introduces scientific and magical objects to the town's people he dies and comes back to life many times in this novel and he provides guidance to each generation of buendia family colonel aureliano buendia who is the first person born in macando he falls in love with remedios mascot who is still a child and he marries her when she is of age later during childbirth she dies he then did not remarry but he fathers a child of pillar ternera they name the child as orleano jose jose arcadio who is the oldest child of the second generation he begins to have an affair with pillar ternera when he was at age 14 He then falls in love with his adopted sister Rebecca. When the family members rebel against his love, they completely disown him. Amarantha is the daughter of Jose and Ursula. She competes with her adopted sister Rebecca for the love of Pietro Crispi, who is an Italian pianola salesman. Rebecca is the adopted daughter of Jose and Ursula she wanders the town for manure and she is believed to be the second cousin of Ursula she marries Jose or Cadio against the wishes of their family after her husband's death she is forgotten by the town's members remedio is mascot who is a younger daughter of don apollinar mascot who is a mayor of macando Pietro Crispi who's an Italian pianola expert he's a handsome and a polite guy he is hired by the family of Buendio to teach dance for Rebecca and Amarantha and this causes those two girls to fall in love with him Orleanos he's called as number 17 because Colonel Orleano he fathers 17 sons with 17 different women while he is away fighting in the war let us see other characters when we deal the summary of this novel this novel has 20 chapters this video contains the full summary of the novel buendia and his wife ursula they were sent out of rio haka which is in colombia they started to make a new home for themselves and they slept on a river bank buendia he dreams of a town of macando which is a city of mirrors and he determines that the place where they are sleeping is where they should establish the town named macado buendia who is a patriarch of the family started to build the family in the village and the family grows first their child is born jose arcadio and orleana later he is known as colonel orleano buendia these two children were born to them when they were on the way to macando the town was visited by a band of gypsies periodically the gypsies show the residents the invention like magnifying glasses magnets flying carpets and the like the leader of the gypsy is melquades and he leads the band 
he shares a prophecy written in a court with Buendia. He tries to make Buendia obsessed with technology, specifically alchemy. Alchemy means a magic power that can change things. Then the novel talks about the flashback story of Buendia and Ursula. Both Buendia and Ursula, they were warned of marrying because they are cousins and they are warned that their children could have genetic defects because as two of their ancestors gave birth to a child with a pig's tail. Buendia, he stays still without getting ready for the marriage. There were rumors spreading that Buendia is impotent and in anger he kills a man Prudentio Orgler for mocking him as impotent. Now the book narrates the present story. The gypsies they come to show Buendia a block of ice and this fascinates Buendia. Buendia's son Jos Arcado, he is now a teenager. He is seduced by Pilar Ternera. She is a fortune teller whom he impregnates. Committing this, he then leaves the town with the gypsies. Ursula, she gave birth to her daughter Amarantha and she could not find her son immediately after her delivery. She leaves home to find her son. She discovers a shortcut between Makando and a civilization in the progress. Pilar Tenera gives birth to Jos Orcadio's son. Orcadio, on the other hand, Buendia family adopts an orphaned girl named Rebecca. She suffers from contagious insomnia and that causes her to lose her memory. And this condition of her grows to infect the whole town. Melquadus, he arrives with a cure for the amnesia through photographs. Buendia, he tries to use the technology to take a photo of God, but he is unable to do. His son Orneliano tries to learn silversmith trade from Melquadus. The representative of a central government named Don Apalliner Moscot, he appears to the town and Buendia challenges him, stripping him of much of his authority. The representative Moscot, he began to grow enmity with the Buendia family. Meanwhile, Buendia's son Orleano falls in love with the youngest daughter of Moscot named Remedios. When they are about to be betrothed, Aureliano is seduced by Pilar Ternera. On the other hand, Buendia's daughters, Amarantha and Rebecca, fall in love with Pietro Crispi, who is an Italian pianola expert, who is hired to teach them dance. The teacher Pietro Crispi, he chooses Rebecca and Amarantha prevents their marriage. The leader of the gypsy Melquadus, he dies of old age. Buendia is obsessed with the mysteries of the world and that drives him to madness. He is then tied to a tree by his family members in the yard. When Remedios and Orleano marry, Amarantha destroys the wedding of Pietro Crispi and Rebecca, which was planned to happen on the same day. Remedios dies after the wedding. She was pregnant with twins. And when the eldest son of the family, Jos Orcadio, comes again to the town, he was actually ran away with the gypsies. And when he returns, Rebecca cannot resist her attraction towards him. They then marry. The matriarch Ursula, she banishes the couple from the house. Oliniano takes interest in the liberal side of the war with the conservatives. He leads the rebellion in the town before leaving to fight elsewhere. From this, he is known as Colonel Oliano Buendia. Jos Arcadio's son, who has also got the same name, Arcadio, he is attracted with his own mother, but he was unaware that Pila Ternera is his mother. He tries to seduce her when he was in charge of the town after the victory of the Liberal Party, and he soon becomes a dictator. But 
pillar tenera she knows that arcadio is her son so she pays santa sofia de la piedad to go to her place sofia is a virgin and she begets three children with arcadio they are remedios the beauty the twins jose arcadio segundo and orleano segundo when the liberal party lose the war arcadio is executed by a firing squad meanwhile the teacher petro crispy he proposes to amarantha despite her love for him she declines as amarantha ignored him he commits suicide and amarantha she burned her hands in order to punish her and she wore a black bandage over the burn for the rest of her life in the war Colonel Orleano Buendia and Colonel Grinlando Marquez are sentenced to be executed by firing squad. By this time, Jose Arcadio prevents the execution at the last minute, and Colonel Orleano Buendia returns to war. Eventually, Colonel Orleano is deserted by the official Liberal Party. He then realizes that he is not fighting for his ideals, but he is fighting for his pride. and so he leaves the army jose arcadio is murdered because of saving his brother and his wife rebecca that is his sister he has married his own sister rebecca then becomes a hermit as a widow then colonel gerlando marquez is left to govern the town pursuing romance with amarantha amarantha refuses his proposal to Finally the patriarch of the family the head Jose Arcadio Buendia who is tied in the trees in the yard he dies the sky rains yellow flowers and mourn Orleano Jose the son of Jose Arcadio and Pilar Tenera he grew up and finds himself attracted to his aunt Amarantha he then joins the army just before a peace treaty is signed Orleano Jose deserts the army and tells Amarantha that he is attracted to her. Eventually, he is killed by a conservative soldier when he returned home. By this time, Colonel Orleano Buenda's seventeen sons arrive to Macando to meet him. Just before he returns to fight, in an attempt to convince the liberals. and to end the useless war he then betrays the party and attempts to kill himself however he survived his suicide attempt colonel orleano buendia he secludes himself in his workshop making fish out of gold the twin children born to arcadio and sofia loves a same woman petra quotes later Jose Arcadio he succeeds in bringing a boat down the river to Macando in celebrating with a carnival in the carnival Remedio as the beauty is named as queen of the carnival but her position is challenged by another queen who is Ferdina del Carpio and eventually a riot breaks out killing many in the crowd now the story is a flashback which reveals about Fernanda del Scorpio's upbringing she is an aristocratic woman from an aristocratic home that gave her an unrealistic expectation in her life and the story moves to the present after the carnival orleano segudo he marries her since his expectations were not well matched he falls in love with petra coats however carpio and sangudu have two children together they are mimi and jose or cadio too the 17th orleanos return to the anniversary of the armistice which is receiving a permanent mark of ashes on their foreheads for ash wednesday orleano tristi who is one of colonel orleano blunda's 17 alleged met sons with his half brother Orleano Centeno he is also one of 
the 17 illegitimate sons of Buendia, I mean Colonel Buendia, they decide to remain in Mokando to build the ice factory that their grandfather had dreamt of and a railroad connecting Makando to the outside world. Later, the arrival of the train brings the town more technologies and foreign investors in a banana plantation across the river. Remedia is the beauty. She remains as ignorant. She did not adapt to the changing in the village. In response to the technological development, Colonel Orleano Buentia, who is dismayed by the changes in the city, he threatens to start a war to return Mokado to its original state. He then plans to use his 17 sons as his army, but his enemies kill all of his sons by leaving one. Ursula, his mother, goes blind. In the following days, Colonel Orleano Buenda dies. Now, Fernanda del Catpio gives birth to her third child, Amaranta Ursula. Then the family's matriarch, Ursula, she grieves and she is in the bed for the rest of her life. Mimi falls in love with a mechanic named Morico Babylonia, who is trailed constantly by yellow butterflies. But Fernanda del Carpio forbids Mimi for seeing Babylonia. Carpio hired a guard who shoots Moracchio Babylonia. The next time he visits Mimi, also Mimi is sent to a convent. Several months later, a nun arrives to the Buendia's house to deliver the baby that Mimi gave birth to. The baby's name is Aureliano. Fernanda, she is ashamed of the illegitimate child that Mimi gave birth to. She pretends that the child is an unrelated orphan and hides him. Days later, Jose Arcadio Segulo, he organizes the banana plantation workers to strike for their better conditions. In that strike, an army kills 3,000 of the workers. Fortunately, Jose Arcadio Sengudu alone was alive. The dead bodies of the workers are loaded on a train and their bodies are disposed in the ocean. But when this story is narrated to the town's people, they do not believe it. Jose Arcadio Sengudu hides from the army people. He stays inside Melquada's old room. And he tries to search for the manuscripts that Melquadis has written about the Buendia family. Then the rain hits the town for five years. Orleano Sengudu, he was inside the house for almost five years. By the time for the five years, he was at home taking care of Amarantha Ursula and the little one. Orleano. The livestock in the village die due to flood. Meantime, Fernanda was seeking treatment for a urine disease by writing letters to imaginary doctors. Orleano Sengudu, he believes that he can find the fortune that Ursula has kept hidden somewhere in and around the house. So the fortune is of gold coins. He started to search the gold coins in and around and also digs up the land. Finally, the rain ends. After five years, the population of the town reduces. Many people die due to flood. Ursula finally wakes up from the bed in which she was taking rest for almost years. Unfortunately, soon as she wakes up, she dies at the age of 120. Followed by her death, Rebecca also dies. Orleano Sengudu works hard in order to earn money. So his working money he sends to Amarantha Ursula because Amarantha Ursula studies school in Bruges. By the time Jose Arcadio Sengudu, he shows his grand nephew Orleano of all the progress that he has taken from Melquadis' room. He has fetched some of the manuscripts of Melquadis. The manuscript of Melquadis has a prophecy of Buendia family.
Unfortunately, soon as they find the manuscript, they die at the same moment and their bodies are buried. Orleano believes that Melquiades has written the prophecies in Sanskrit. Orleano doesn't know Sanskrit, so he believes that after 100 years, this manuscript can be read by someone. Meaning he believes that that manuscript can be read even if it is in Sanskrit. Santa Sophia de la Piedad, she also forgets everything. She walks away from the house. Fernanda del Carpio also dies. Soon later, Jose Arcadio finds the gold fortune that Ursula had hidden under her bed. To his surprise, Jose Arcadio is hit by a youth of the town. The youth drones him and steals the gold fortune. Now, Amarantha Ursula, she returns from Bruges with her husband Gaston. Orleano meets Pilar Ternera in the brothel. Orleano now admits his love to Amarantha Ursula. Amarantha Ursula neglects her husband Gaston. Soon Gaston moves on a business trip. Soon the town gets depopulated. Even the Catalonian bookseller and Orleano's friend leave Mokanda. Even Buantia's house is destroyed by a swan of red ants. Finally, Orleano and Amarantha Ursula bear a child and they name the child as Orleano. Now, the fear of matriarch Ursula happens. Her fear is that a baby will be born with a tail of a pig. So, that fear becomes true in this case. Soon as Orleano is born, he is born with the tail of a pig. The mother Amaranta Ursula dies after giving birth. Now Orleano, he is in grief looking at the child. By the time all the ants that is around the house destroys the baby by eating it. He finally reads the manuscript that he has taken from Melquades. It is actually a prophecy and when he reads the prophecy, a hurricane destroys Makando. Hurricane is a cyclone. Let us see the themes of this novel. Time is a major concept used in this novel because in the title itself we could analyze 100 years of solitude. So we come across the decisions of ancestors the confusions of ancestors and the things that happen between past, present and future. We come across the repetition of family name which reflects the character's personalities. By reading the novel, the reader can experience a collapse of past, present and future since the characters are repetitive. The characters of this novel believe on fate they wish to be uncivilized because they stay away from technological developments. They do not want to stay connected to any of the nearby towns. A plague descends on the town causing an insomnia effect and that also results in a collective amnesia. The family also believes that Melquades, who is a gypsy, has a prophecy for the family. So throughout thousand years the family believes in that prophecy and later we could see that the forecast is destroyed by the cyclone when Orleano reads it. Added to this the belief of the matriarch Ursula also happens when Orleano is born. He was born with a tail of a pig. Solitude is another major theme in this novel. We come across a solitude nature in each character in its own way. Especially in the novel, the males of Buendia family, particularly who is named as Orleano, they are repeatedly described as having a solitary nature. The major example for solitude can be taken from Jos Arcadio Buendia, who is a patriarch of the family, is perhaps 
collapsed at the end of his life. He is tied to a tree in the yard. He stays away from the entire family. Though he is a founder of the town, he experiences solitude. Civilization and progress is another theme in this novel. We see that there is a conflict between the military, that is the liberal and the conservative parties. There is a development happening in railway expansion in order to connect the colonial settlements and there are plantation establishments. Only few residents in this novel wanted the conveniences of modern life and only few characters in the novel wanted to interact with the outsiders. The best example of which is Joe's Arcadio Buvendia, the patriarch of the family has interest in technology but he doesn't want to bring innovation to Makado. Only the gypsies bring new innovation and ideas to Makado. The patriarch of the family, Jose Arcadio Buendia, when he came out from Rio Hacha, Colombia with his wife Ursula, he had a dream of creating a town made of mirrors. This depiction of his vision of creating a town with mirrors demonstrates his ideas of creating anything of his own ideologies. He aims to influence the town's residents with his ideas. The last theme is magic versus reality. Magical elements are presented in this novel. Superstitious beliefs runs throughout the family. The best example is when the patriarch Jose Arcadio Buendia dies, a rain of yellow flowers falls from the sky. So this is a feeling of grief of the town since he is the founder of the town. Hope this video helps. If you have query, please write it down. Thank you for listening.